Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. Yeah. So I uh, as you can see I was on I was actually up there AFKing. But to prevent you know my face being super close. I can it was it was even closer than this. But yeah, to prevent that I came down a bit. <laughs> Just so we don't have that issue. So I've met some things that everyone had joined in in the stream when we built this mob farm it's been working like crazy good um let me just see if i can maybe show you guys um the the, the hopper actually our double chest actually maxed out on stuff it was it was completely full so you know i took out some stuff uh it produces a lot of string but the gunpowder is insane i i made three stacks of um of duration free rockets three stacks of them and I went AFK again and everything and as you can probably see BAM <laughs> that's how much I got after making the three stacks of duration free rockets that's all we have left from that so that farm has been producing beautifully but we've we've ran into a new problem Yes, one problem goes away and two more take its place. Uh, let me see. See, the other. I already used the stack because I've been flying around like a madman, doing stuff. So naturally, our next problem is sugarcane. Yeah, sure. We we've plotted it over here, over there a bit, then the back a bit, there a bit, over there, over here. But you know, every time I need, I need to break, and it's not always enough. So I thought that maybe in today's episode, video I, I almost i don't know why i just cut myself off yeah, uh, i was thinking let's build a sugarcane farm now i don't know where to put it you know because if i put it around here because i initially want to turn this into like a whole town you know the forge the greenhouse one of the residence houses the the, the town hall almost you can say the storage facility and stuff, you know, connect them with paths and stuff, and also do some of the pearl that looks nice. Yeah, so I'm not sure where to put it. So, um, I think for now, we just put it over here. I cleared out this little bit of area a bit earlier today. So yeah, so I thought maybe let's why not build it over here because since you know, we're in any case going to be AFKing at this farm, why not just you know build there <laughs> it over there so it can produce us so it's pretty much in the same place but for that we need sand i, I didn't actually take sand and stuff because i really have our goodies lined up so to speak in here so let's quickly grab some sand i think i have in here yeah stack of sand and we might as well we need rails yeah we need rails for this design this design is a interesting one uh, normally you you know use power rails and normal rails to build it you know then it goes underneath the whole time you know picking up all of the sugar can especially with the flying machine method but um we don't have that many powered rails anymore <laughs> we use them all in um that farm the melon and pumpkin farm and in the slime farm man gold is really useful actually when it comes to some folds that to build some farm. So this design is something I just kind of came up with. I, I know it's not the the best, but you know it's better than nothing, I guess. It's better than nothing. I, I actually finished a axe already for me, so I have an axe going, which is quite nice. Sorry about the sound. Um, but what I really want to actually maybe do is is um, now you know finish a shovel for future projects you know dig out easier and stuff. But it's going to be a small one we can build. So let's go out oh, six one two three four five six yes yeah, six. Um, so we're just going to go out six. Uh, I should have probably brought brought a shovel with me. Oh, it's fine. We're going to build this thing just as it stands. So let's quickly grab our. Uh, Shulker box, place it down. So as you can see, it's going to use a, a bunch of hopper minecarts. <laughs> because normally what you do is you, you'll normally have your 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So normally what you would do is you would have your your hopper going underneath, but since you know we're pretty low on resources, I'm just gonna put hopper mine cards underneath the set. <laughs> that that that's pretty much the the main plan. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, so it is six, so we're good in that sense. Oh, the cobble's on me. <laughs> then, hey, you can also see the farm over there running while we're here. So, um, what we want to do is build up too high around. Like so. Okay, actually, I think bring this out by one. Then we can cap it off, like a so. Get back up here. And grab our first bunch of mine cards. Ah, we can fit all of them in, cool. So then it's, um... Wrong way around. It's just, just, just this constantly over, and over, and over. <laughs> Okay, so I think uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Replace them. They weren't moving when I placed them in creative, in my creative world, <laughs> weirdly enough. So it's strange to see them moving now. That's one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> if it, it's, it's just to pick up, you know, all of it pretty much. And this should, in theory, pick all of it up. So then it's um. I am shift clicking you. Annoyance. <laughs> Yeah, so technically the concept is, no matter where I throw the... This will always be picked up by the hopper. See, no matter where it lands. That's the main idea, I guess you could say. So then it's just to... Put this down. Uh, let me just get these back here we need to break these blocks specifically. Go out by one and up. I didn't bring a water bucket. <laughs> we need to put water in here for the sugar cane. <laughs> not not. And it's a one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, welcome back. We had a little cut, but it was just to, you know, quickly run, grab my water bucket, and grab some more rockets. So, so then it's a block behind, like so. Then we want to hop on over. I don't know why I made so many mine cards, now that I think about it. <laughs> I think I might have gone a bit overboard, but, you know, just maybe. Just, just, just maybe went a bit overboard. Okay, so then it's uh, over like this. Then we want to place a block and our observer for each one. Redstone line them. Build up this part a bit more. Break that block. Okay, and that should be the basic form done. Then we just want to grab our glass and. Um, Yeah, get up here really quick. Uh, I put away all the cobble, didn't I? I should just keep that on me. There we go. Okay. Oh, I could make this actually. Yeah, I'll build another a second one in a second. Okay. It's just to run across like this. Take out glass. Placing these up here so long. Okay. Break this. Okay, so that's pretty much the 
basic version done of this. Grab two chests. And place them. Okay. So that's, I guess you could say, so technically all that's going to happen is uh, once we have our sugar cane in here, actually, let me just crack a fiber, you know, we have an elytra, it's not that hard to zoom from one place to another. All right, now remember why I made a bit more, because I wanted to build 12. <laughs> there we go. Oh, exactly 12, wow. <laughs> we even get exactly 12. It knows how much we want. Yeah, so let's quickly just fly on over. So technically, all that's going to happen is this is going to be like so. And then we're just going to grow some. So all that's going to happen is the sugar cane is going to grow up. It's going to pulse and get sucked up by the minecart hoppers underneath, as you saw. So just quickly. See, there it is. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much the base principle. I should probably build this thing in the floor, but it's okay. So next up, we want to grab our hoppers. So it's over here that we want to go. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I am an idiot. It's one more. <laughs> Break it. Okay, then uh, I, I think I don't think we have enough cobblestone actually. No, we do, we do. Uh, let me just quickly sleep, so I'll be back in two sex. If I can fly, <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. I also just grabbed some more cobble because why not? Okay, so then it's just you know the basic form again. Place it along like this all the way around. Not there. <laughs> uh, these blocks we can break. Then uh, it's just to go like this all the way around. I'm just doing the corner so it looks nice. <laughs> okay, then it's rails. We can just do that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Because it seems five are enough. I did not think it would be. I, you know, normally you'd think. You'd need six, but apparently not. <laughs> so then quickly go one, two, three, four, five. Then I should place so number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Oh, this one needs six? Or... I can't remember how the other one looked. But I don't think I can fit a sixth. I can try, I guess, for the six, the sixth one in there. Let's see. Unless they stopped moving now. No, they haven't. Yet. Oh, there we go. That uh, sorted it out quite easily. Then it's you know placing our sand across. Ew, actually, no, I actually want this one to face, I want them to face each other. I don't know why, <laughs> but I just think it would look nice if they face each other. Let's just quickly do the whole build up part like this. I think it might have been a good idea to grab that extra stack now. <laughs> I think it, I think actually I'm busy, no, no, I haven't actually started using the other one, well, wow, okay. Build ourselves a staircase, water, and cobblestone across, like so. Go forward. There we go, and with that. Pretty much just to place the final few things. Let's just quickly not misplace it. Pop up here. Place blocks all across. 
I'll just bring you guys with me on this journey because it's such a basic farm, but such a useful farm. Uh, and it's fast to build, so I can might as well just you know let you guys see how I build it step. I guess you can say step by step. Okay, that, that's. Oh yeah, I made it. <laughs> okay. And seal her up. And get a chest. <laughs> Might help, you know, just to put a double chest there. So when I'm AFKing at the... Over at the uh, mob farm, I at least know I can, you know, get some extra stuff. So let's quickly go and upgrade this storage a bit. We don't have much chests, but as they say, every little bit helps. Um, I can't remember. Oh yeah, all of this is dirt. That's actually annoying. <laughs> Why did it have to be dirt, man? Okay, then it's placing the chests like a so. Uh, we need to break that dirt. Let's just actually go stand on our cobblestone block again. Break those two pieces of dirt. And in we swoop and swoosh. Okay, and with that, the item should start draining out from here back into here. And that's just a little upgrade, you can say, to our puny storage that we had for some weird reason. <laughs> Ow! I just hit the wall and my sound's off again. I'm sorry everybody that my sound is off because I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> I'm always AFKing. Yeah, so that's pretty much the basic version of this farm. Let me just build a little staircase for our short shortness so you can see. So yeah, so technically all that's going to happen is the shoe is going to grow up until free height. It's going to activate the observer, pulse it, break it. The upper mine guns underneath are going to pick it up. And drop it into the hoppers and drop it in here. The reason, so I know one going across work, you know, works, you know, better, better, and you know, I think it helps with lag instead of you know having a few of them crunched up together. But I don't have any power rails. <laughs> this was the only way I could think of making a sugarcane farm. <laughs> and this one is actually, I think you can you can pretty much tile it, I guess, to an extent. See, another hopper row would be on top of where that glass is, is another hopper row. So all the hoppers would eventually just come down into this chest. I believe that's the way we would do it normally. But yeah, I think, you know, it's it's ugly looking. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it, it's super ugly looking. But we'll build a better version um, once we get more resources into it. But I definitely think that this um, that this uh, mob farm really needed that bit more storage, <laughs> as you can see, a lot of oh my word! Look at all those creepers that just fell. Oh my, that's a lot of creepers. Oh my goodness, look at all that that juicy gunpowder that just fell for us. Ah, that hurt! That hurt! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, but I think definitely storage system is going to be a big thing that we might need to look into because, yeah. But I also actually want to start with the pathways. Maybe next episode we'll, we'll be doing all of these um, pathways, you know, do nice pathways. One goes there, breaks off, goes, connects to the staircase, then goes, one that comes out from down here, goes around, you know, goes back in around to this one then maybe goes into here where the storage hut would be you know make it nice it look a bit nicer pathways and not just you know these random buildings dotted around <laughs> like they are right now and I might actually move this whole building actually you know move it from here build a new kind of new version I guess over here so it's a bit further away, maybe, maybe even over here. 
just you know to give us more space because uh yeah these buildings are a bit on top of each other yeah i don't know why i built them so on top of each other to be honest so this villager escaped and i brought him in and as i was flying over i saw we had another escape artist now where did he go there it is now I don't know how they are escaping because um, technically the minecart's picking them up through the block. And there's no visible hole. Uh, let's place that block there, I guess. Hope if that that helps with our escapees. And I'm still busy working on, you know, because I actually want to do this, like, what, episode 4, I think I built this little AFK fish farm that I haven't uh, done, you know, AFKing at, because we got five name tags, <laughs> like, almost instantly. So it wasn't really that worth, but yeah, I, I'm still looking at ideas on the internet and stuff, but, you know, like, you normally, you know, you, you see something on the internet, like, oh, that looks cool, then you do it something you, you get inspiration and you build your own thing so i definitely still want to do that but um yeah i think that's pretty much it um the iron farm's going strong now we have a sugarcane farm to help with our rocket production which we'll definitely improve on you know later on once we have more you know better materials and stuff and this mob farm is working absolutely amazingly. If you guys want to, you know, see when I build these farms initially. Oh, that's a spam fest. Uh, but if you guys want to see when I build these um, farms, you know, I stream Minecraft every Friday. Um, so yeah, you guys can come tune in every Friday. Um, I think it's, I, I stream 5 p.m. In South Africa, I think that's CET, but I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I stream every Friday, uh, Minecraft, and um, every Wednesday I stream, um, you know, single player game. Might do multiplayer. We'll see what happens there. And you know, and and Mondays are you know my Minecraft let's play videos. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. I this video is legit gonna be going up in like two hours. So I need to finish editing it, and upload it, and, and make the thumbnail. And uh, why did I do this out to me? Because the old other recording that I did, my dogs decided to just go ham on the mic. <laughs> so every time I talked, you'd hear them barking the whole neighborhood so yeah i couldn't use the footage but yeah that's gonna do it for me guys i will see you guys in the next video bye